Have you ever considered the unseen battle that rages on in our bodies when we least expect it? The battle against sexually transmitted diseases. These invisible foes, including chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, HIV, AIDS, herpes, human papilloma virus, hepatitis B, and trichomoniasis, wage war within us, often undetected until it's too late. Each one is unique, with their own strategies of attack, and each requires a different plan of defense. So let's delve into this unseen world. Our journey begins with a bacterium that is often silent but deadly, chlamydia. Chlamydia, a silent intruder, often shows no symptoms but wreaks havoc when left untreated. A sneakier adversary you'll be hard-pressed to find. Caused by the bacteria Chlamydia trachomatis, this sexually transmitted disease often flies under the radar, with three-quarters of infected women and half of men showing no symptoms. When symptoms do appear, they can range from mild discomfort to severe pain, including abnormal discharge and burning during urination. For women, untreated chlamydia can lead to pelvic inflammatory disease, a serious condition that can result in infertility or ectopic pregnancy. Men, on the other hand, may experience testicular pain and swelling. The good news? Chlamydia is highly treatable with antibiotics. Prevention, however, is paramount. Regular use of condoms reduces the risk of infection, and annual screenings are recommended for sexually active women under 25 and older women with risk factors such as new or multiple sex partners. Remember, regular testing is the key to catching chlamydia early. Moving on to a more aggressive player, gonorrhea. This cunning adversary is caused by the bacterium Neisseria gonorrhoeae. It's a crafty one, often presenting no symptoms at all, especially in women. But don't be fooled. When symptoms do appear, they can be quite severe, including painful urination and abnormal discharge. Treatment for gonorrhea has become a game of cat and mouse. The bacterium has shown an uncanny ability to develop resistance to antibiotics. But don't worry, modern medicine is still in the lead. Current treatment strategies involve a combination of antibiotics to ensure effectiveness. Preventing gonorrhea is a team effort. It involves regular screenings, especially for those at higher risk. Barrier methods during sexual activity, such as condoms, can also significantly reduce the risk of transmission. Now that we've tackled gonorrhea, let's journey back in time to a disease that's haunted humanity for centuries, syphilis. Syphilis, a historical nemesis, remains a potent threat today. This sexually transmitted infection, caused by the bacterium Treponema pallidum, has plagued humanity for centuries. It's often referred to as the great imitator because its symptoms can mimic many other diseases. The infection unfolds in distinct stages, each with its own set of symptoms. In the primary stage, a single sore called a chancre appears. If left untreated, the secondary stage follows with symptoms like skin rashes and fever. The latent and tertiary stages can lead to severe health problems involving the heart, brain, and other organs. But here's the good news. Syphilis is curable. Penicillin, a simple and effective antibiotic, can knock out this infection. However, prevention is always better than cure. Practicing safe sex, getting regular checkups, and being open and honest with partners about sexual health can significantly reduce the risk of transmission. From a disease of the past, we move to a modern day pandemic, HIV AIDS. HIV AIDS, a global crisis that's taken millions of lives, is a battle we're still fighting. HIV or human immunodeficiency virus compromises the immune system, making it easier for various diseases and infections to overcome the body. AIDS or acquired immune deficiency syndrome is the final stage of HIV infection where the body can no longer fight off diseases and infections. The virus is primarily transmitted through unprotected sexual intercourse, sharing of infected needles, or from mother to child during childbirth or breastfeeding. Symptoms often resemble the flu, including fever and fatigue, but can progress to severe weight loss, persistent diarrhea, and infections. Treatment involves antiretroviral therapy, ART, which can't cure HIV, but can control the virus and prevent progression to AIDS. As for prevention, using condoms, having regular HIV tests, and taking preventative medication if at high risk are all vital steps. Next, we uncover a virus that's far more common than you might think, herpes. Herpes, a widespread virus, often lies dormant and undetected. It's a silent invader, taking up residence in our nerve cells, waking up sporadically to cause outbreaks. There are two main types, herpes simplex virus 1, usually causing oral herpes, and herpes simplex virus 2, typically leading to genital herpes. The symptoms can range from painful blisters and sores to being entirely symptomless, making it a tricky disease to diagnose. Moreover, it's an incurable virus. However, treatments such as antiviral medications can help manage symptoms and reduce the risk of transmission. 
Prevention is key in battling herpes. It's important to practice safe sex, use condoms, and have open conversations with partners about sexual health. Now, let's delve into a virus that's been making headlines in recent years, HPV. HPV, a leading cause of cervical cancer, is a growing concern worldwide. Human papilloma virus, or HPV, is a group of more than 100 viruses, with around 40 types affecting the genital area. It's primarily transmitted through sexual contact, making safe sexual practices paramount in prevention. Many people with HPV show no symptoms, which can lead to its silent spread. When symptoms do appear, they often present as genital warts. The good news is that most HPV infections clear up by themselves. But when they don't, they can lead to serious health issues like cervical cancer. Vaccination is available and recommended for both boys and girls to prevent the most dangerous strains. These are not only a common occurrence, but also a distressing one. They can appear as small bumps or groups of bumps in the genital area. They can be small or large, raised or flat, or shaped like a cauliflower. While these warts may cause discomfort and embarrassment, it's crucial to understand that they are a symptom of an underlying viral infection and not a disease in themselves. While there's no cure for the virus, the warts themselves can be treated and removed. Treatments can range from topical creams to surgical procedures, depending on the severity and location of the warts. However, even after the warts are gone, the virus can remain in the body, which means warts can reappear. Let's take a moment to discuss a lesser known member of the herpes family, human herpes virus 8 or HHV8. This virus is associated with certain types of cancer, including Kaposi's sarcoma, a type of cancer that causes patches of abnormal tissue to grow under the skin in the lining of the mouth, nose, and throat, or in other organs. HHV8 spreads through saliva and can also be transmitted through sexual contact. It's important to note that most people infected with HHV8 never develop Kaposi's sarcoma unless their immune system becomes weakened, such as in individuals with HIV AIDS. The symptoms of an HHV8 infection are often mild or even non-existent, making it a silent threat. Those with symptoms may experience fever, fatigue, and body aches, much like the flu. Preventing HHV-8 can be challenging due to its subtle nature. Just like with other herpes viruses, once you have it, it stays in your body for life. Hence, the best prevention strategy is practicing safe sex, avoiding sharing eating utensils, and limiting contact with individuals known to have the virus. We now turn to Hepatitis B. Hepatitis B, often overshadowed by its counterparts, is a silent killer that should not be underestimated. This stealthy virus primarily attacks the liver, causing both acute and chronic disease. Its transmission is largely through contact with the blood or other body fluids of an infected person. Symptoms may not be immediately apparent, with some individuals remaining symptom-free for years. When symptoms do occur, they can range from fatigue and nausea to more serious issues like liver cirrhosis or cancer. Fortunately, hepatitis B is preventable with a vaccine. Treatment options exist, but they vary based on the severity of the disease and the health of the individual. Regular screening and safe practices are crucial in the fight against this silent killer. Lastly, we explore a lesser known but equally important STD, trachomoniasis. Trichomoniasis, a parasite that's often overlooked, is more common than you might think. Caused by a tiny organism, it can lead to uncomfortable symptoms, yet it's easily treatable. Prevention is key, particularly through safe sexual practices. As we wrap up, remember, knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay safe. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of sexually transmitted diseases. We hope this series has helped inform and empower you to take control of your sexual health. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and follow us for more. This is Minute Med, where medicine is made fun and accessible. Remember, knowledge is power and prevention is key. Stay informed, stay safe.